Will we see an AMD Ryzen 7 2800X released any time in the near future? Well, to answer this question, we have to do a couple, a little research actually. And I apologize, it's going to be more of a long talk about, you know, the history and the past to kind of predict the future, which obviously I'm going to do my best to do. I'm not any expert at it, I don't have telekinesis, but I actually have a pretty good track record. So let's talk about a few things. Number one, you know that some Intel processor is coming out. We know it's probably going to have 8 cores and 16 threads. Why? Because every single leak online practically says that. AMD currently has the 8 cores, 16 threads available as well. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can go about increasing performance to match this. Simply, you could increase clock speeds, or you could put more cores on there. There is a lot of different ways to do that, and to be honest with you, AMD in the past, and this is why I'm going to go look at my past for the sources of this, basically AMD has the ability to put more cores on their processors, they have the Infinity, or I believe it's Infinity Fabric, and basically they've done it in the past, so they've kind of beat Intel by sticking on more cores. I wouldn't be surprised to see this new chip from Intel come out and AMD push out the 1800 or 2018100X or 2800X. Oh boy, sorry. And they put that out with more cores, and that's how they beat out Intel. Now, yes, we know that Zen Plus is a lot more power efficient. And we get a lot more, you know, clock speed boost, but it's not that power efficient and not that good at boosting clocks. Not enough that we're going to compete with this new processor. That if the leaks online are correct, we have a little bit of worrying about for our AMD, nothing kind of to compete with that. So you've got that system and you've got these two options, these two possibilities, either we have a higher clock speed or we have a higher core count, which I'm going to say, betting, it's the higher core count option. And you notice also I'm not debating whether or not this is going to happen or not. AMD has been very vicious with their processors lately. They have been on top of things and they are pretty much raking in the, or the workstation class processors not gaming class, but the workstation class and the desktop market for the last two years. They are not going to give it up, especially when they are just starting to gain ground on Intel. That is my personal opinion there, but you can agree or disagree with my reasoning. So, I don't see Intel releasing any new chip, which will be arguably 30% better than the past generation, and leaving AMD, and AMD will just not release anything. It's really unlikely. And especially since we're kind of missing the top of the line, like we saw in the last generation, it's kind of like a missing hole that I kind of see as a placeholder that something else will be added. Now, are we going to do something what we saw from the video, what we saw the 1080 Ti come later after the 1080? That's kind of what I'm thinking, and especially when we get a new processor from Intel, I think AMD will kind of push that one out there, especially because Zen 2 is, or Zen 3 is supposed to come out later next year. So kind of fits right in the middle, and I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty powerful processor, a lot of cores, my personal opinion there. So when we see a new chip from Intel, expect something from AMD. And if you know you want to talk about, well, oh, they don't have anything about it, there's no leaks, anything about it, well, it's not kind of close enough to see that. I think it's kind of been developed, it's been r and d it's kind of hidden though. It's kind of been quieted down, and it's kind of in hiding in case it's needed. I think same thing we saw with Intel that they had all the R&D done for the next gen chips to have like a lot more performance and stuff in case AMD ever put out anything threatening and then when they did the Ryzen series they popped out all the doubled or the uh, high core counts or the 6 cores, 12 threads, all that stuff they popped that out to compete with Intel or AMD so I wouldn't be surprised to see something similar from AMD do holding back something to pop back out of Intel. But um, that's going to wrap up for today's video. Please go down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Of course, check out my Discord server for other people that are also interested in this topic. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Check out my channel for other cool tech-related things, news, videos, reviews, and goodbye.